Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. The next treatment available for men that have progressive metastatic prostate cancer is chemotherapy. A number of years ago, Taxotere was approved as a treatment for men in this situation because it showed an improvement in survival when combined with the drug called prednisone. Now, those studies found that the combination of taxotere and prednisone increased survival about an average of 2.1 months. And some people might say, well, that's not very long. The fact is that some men are likely to get a much longer response, while other men may get no response at all. So if you're faced with a situation in which your cancer has progressed while on hormone therapy and you have no other options available, chemotherapy is a good choice for the right person. Now, one of the things that we continue to debate is when should you begin chemotherapy? Should you begin it simply because your PSA is rising or should you wait until you develop some other symptoms of the disease, either weakness, weight loss, pain, feeling lousy. If any of those symptomatic effects occur, it's easier to argue a case to take chemotherapy. Why the pro and con in this? Well, the issue is that there are side effects from Taxotere. It can cause some hair loss. It can affect your blood counts. There may be some neurological changes, which don't occur very often, but if we give you a therapy aimed to making, at making you live a little bit longer, but in the process we cause side effects that make you feel a little bit worse, you can understand why it's not so clear if everyone ought to be on chemotherapy. On the other hand, too many men are not even offered chemotherapy as an option. You should hear about it, understand the pros and cons, understand the chances of benefiting, and then be in a position to decide whether you want to do this early or whether you want to wait. My approach has always been to discuss this with my patients and say, look, are you wanting to be as aggressive as possible? Then you go on it earlier rather than waiting until you're feeling very sick. We can always stop the medication or reduce the medication if you develop side effects that are intolerable. So that's the advantage of saying, let's start it early and see how you do. And then we'll continue it for some time to see as long as it's controlling your disease. On average, that may be six months or longer of therapy to see what kind of effect we can achieve. So you're given this medication, it's given intravenously, it's given every few three or four weeks, and you're closely monitored during that process, blood counts are obtained, your doctor is going to check to make sure that you're not having any significant side effects while administering the therapy. It is a good therapy. It has been approved. It helps people. It's not a panacea. It's not going to get rid of everyone's cancer. But some men will get a very dramatically good response, and you can't predict that ahead of time. So be aware that that is a good option for men with progressive metastatic prostate cancer who have already been on hormone therapy. It is not a therapy that's currently recommended to men at the outset of their diagnosis of metastatic disease. For those situations, hormone therapy first, and when the hormone therapy fails, then we move on to chemotherapy. Thank you.